Yo, what's good, everybody? Um, I'm, I'm, I wanted to make this quick video real quick because of something that has been happening um, pretty frequently. And um, I was like, man, like, I don't know. Maybe, maybe I should just kind of speak on it because I don't know if I've ever just spoke on it or like, um, I mean, as far as on video, like I know um, like when people see me out and about with my shirts and, you know what I'm saying, people ask me questions, uh, you know, about, you know, what does it mean? I've, I've had some people um, actually pronounce it as as a word, like, um, that they, they're like, I've seen your, your clothing line, the dig clothing line, you know, that's cool. And, you know, I've heard people that actually go ahead and, and break it down in the letters, you know, the D-Y-I-G. Um, but the thing is, a lot of people are like, you know, well, what does it mean? Um, so I just kind of wanted to make a video to just kind of speak, speak to that and um, just kind of answer that question the best I can. Um, so for starters, um, the people that are like, pronouncing it as a word like dig you know um, they've done the best they can to make sense of D-Y-I-G and you know they come up with dig um, so to that you're not incorrect in pronouncing it as dig because uh, the truth of the matter is initially and I, I can really go back before even I started dealing with the DYIG. Um, there's another name that I was uh, actually intending to use, and um, I decided not with that name, all because of the sequence of events that I'm about to tell you about. So anyway, when I first uh, kind of really started locking in on this idea of building a clothing line, the first word that I ever saw was glitch. I don't know. I don't know if that's coming out right, but um, <laughs> glitch, G L I T C H, glitch. Um, that was the initial name that I came up with. But um, when I started just trying to work on ideas and, and branding and, and just seeing it visually, um, to me, it it didn't just it didn't just give clear message I mean it did but it didn't like um, so glitch um, actually stood for something um, but I had a weird way of even doing it and I, and I guess I always do these types of things when I name businesses or name things that I'm dealing with but so glitch was for God lives in the and then instead of doing a word for C and a word for H I made CH1. So God lives in the, and then CH, I, I did chosen. So God lives in the chosen. And so Glitch was the first name that I was set on. I had Glitch. I was envisioning, you know, storefronts and, you know, all that kind of stuff. And then COVID came. COVID came and shut shut the world down man and it was like I was like man like so much for storefronts I, I was like just really just feeling like man clothing line wasn't gonna be a good idea I was trying to like think what I was gonna do um I also at that time I had it, it was I had divided it into a second clothing line because I wanted to be able to Glitch, I wanted it to, to provide, like, you know, kind of the youthful, urban, kind of really the clothes that I'm doing now with DYIG, you know. Glitch was, would have carried those same types of clothes. But I came up with a second brand that I was going to make, like, a, a derivative um, of Glitch that was going to be called GLW. Now... GLW for me, I was hesitant because it felt, to me, it felt like DSW or whatever the, the clothes, the shoe store that, uh, you know what I'm talking about. I think it's DSW. For me, in my mind, it was feeling too similar. You know, GLW, 
Um, but it was that's still for God lives within. And I, I was gonna do that way they were in the same family, you know what I'm saying? G L W and um and glitch. Like just kind of representing that discovering the God within yourself and you know what I'm saying, just living better, doing better, being better. Um so God lives within was gonna be like my, you know, some of y'all y'all know I dress like this sometimes, but I like to I like to dress up too. I like to get clean. I like to wear suits and I mean not suits, but you know what I'm saying? I like I like dressing up dress slacks and, and nice button up shirts and ties. I, I like that look. Um so I wanted to have a brand that could offer those too, but I didn't want to offer them both under the same name of Glitch. So anyway, long story short, I had I was processing those two brands and you know COVID came in and so I had in um, 2020, I had this goal that I was supposed to start my book. I was supposed to start writing my book in 2020. So um, I was in the shower one morning. I was I was in deep thought about my book. Like, man, I got to just commit to it. If I just come up with a title, I, I haven't actually broken my promise. All I said was I wanted to start it. I didn't say I was going to have two chapters written. I didn't say I was going to have an opening paragraph. I just said I want to start my book. Well, part of starting my book is creating a title. So I was just committing to, in 2020, like, I just got to come up at least with a title. Let me think of a title. And I was trying to, you know, see if there was a way I could tie it in with, you know what I'm saying? But where my mind was with glitch and, and God lives within, you know, just processing those things. And I was like, what would I name my book? What would I name my book? What would I name my book glitch? You know what I'm saying? I was just thinking just random thoughts. And then I was like saying to myself, man, I need to dig deeper. I need something deeper than that. And I'm going to dig. Hmm. So I had like D-I-G. And I just kept looking at it. I wrote it on some paper and I just kept looking at it. I put it in my phone and kept looking at it. Dig. And I was trying to see like what can I come up with creative for dig. I'm like, D-I-G. And then I just started thinking like, man, I've always had creative names in every business I've done. I had, starting out, I had Ford, The Fam Entertainment. I had uh, Mama's Boy Music. I had uh, Beyond Music. I had uh, Future Boulevard. I had The Way. Well, I still have The Way. Uh, we got Men in Black. Um, you know, um, so it's always been names that have deeper meaning, and, and some of y'all that have been familiar with some of those businesses, y'all know that they're, I can break each of those names down, and they mean something. So, like, I've always wanted names to mean something to where you read it, and it's one thing on the surface, but when you spend some time with it, it's, it's deeper meaning. So, I was playing with Dig, and it was just like, what, coming, everything I was trying to come up with, like, determined infinite <laughs> you know what I'm saying I was just trying to come up with I was just playing with words like but I, it gotta mean something and everything I kept trying to come up with I was forcing myself to say your there's like there's not even a why right there why am I saying your like I was trying to squeeze a your in there and I'm like wait a minute like who who can stop me from putting a why <laughs> if I want to use a why I can use a why you know what I'm saying like it was like it was like that, you know what I'm saying? Like, who can tell me how to spell what I'm spelling? Nobody can tell me how to spell what I'm spelling, you know what I'm saying? So, um, that's 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 how it came to be, right? Why there's a why there, even though, yes, big was its original state. But I just never found the right words that I felt spoke what I wanted to speak. It didn't get a message I wanted to give, so I ended up um, coming up with... Why I, you know, and so that gives you that your discover your inner God, and um, you know that that's something that's unique to every individual because that journey and that process can look totally different from person to person. Um, it, it has a lot to do with honesty, accountability, uh, with oneself. You know, like getting to a point where you stop lying to yourself to make your story superior or you, you stop lying to people to make you look higher or to look elevated like you just start to tell the truth to yourself and see that 
No, you are not always a superhero in every story that you tell or everything that you've experienced. Sometimes you have been the evil villain. Sometimes you have been the negative Nancy. Sometimes you have been the problem in the situation. But when we tell our story to other people, we always make ourselves the hero, the good guy, the, the, the perfect person, the one who never breaks the rules. And never, you know what I'm saying? And it's like, ain't no truth in that. And that's why we can't really process and, and heal and elevate and get to higher levels of ourselves is because we're not, first of all, being honest with ourselves. We're lying. And, um, man, lying is a, is a tough one to stop. Um, I don't know if anybody has even started that process of learning how to stop lying. I guess the first part is admitting that you do lie and you have lied or, you know, that you have a habit of lying. And then it's like, once you can own that and then it's like, start dealing with that and, and working on not doing it and starting to tell the truth. I think sometimes with people, like, sometimes I shock them that I, I might tell too much truth nowadays. Like, you know what I'm saying? I got a friend... And I won't say names. But I got a friend who asked me about a particular person. You know what I'm saying? And man, it was like immediately I felt I felt guilt because I was like, I know me and this person have had some, some difficult times. You know what I'm saying? So I'm just like, well, okay, to be honest, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I think this person is, you know what I'm saying? Now is a great person, but in the beginning we had problems. And it was this, 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 this. And one, one time I said this to him, and you know what I'm saying, I made him, you know what I'm saying, and it was like, the person listening was like, oh, okay, well, I mean, that's, that's interesting because, I mean, they said nothing but great things about you. And it wasn't that I was talking about them or putting them down, it wasn't that. It was just, I get, for that person, they told the story, sharing only the, the highlights, the great parts. There's nothing wrong with that, but for where I was in life, or for where I am in life, for me, I, I has at that moment I had such a fear of lying that I didn't want to lie to this person. So I told the truth. I was like, "Well, man, and that person, we did have a disagreement. We fell out about this. We, you know what I'm saying? We disagreed. We didn't talk for months, and then we got, you know what I'm saying? We started back talking. You know what I'm saying? And it was like, okay, they never told me that. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, and it's like, I felt bad because it was like, damn, like, this person said I was a great person, we had a great relationship. And that is true because we do have a very wonderful relationship, but it was like, it went through a period, honestly, where we went cool because of whatever situation. And I told the truth about it, you know what I'm saying? So I don't think any of us were wrong in that situation, but just in me being at a place where I was really wanting to stop lying, it was like, that for me was a critical moment of, all right, there's a chance. Are you gonna tell the truth about your friendship or are you gonna, you gonna lie about it? And I was like, tell the truth. Yeah, we, we fell out for months. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? That, that was just funny to me, man. That was funny, like, so what? But that's just a thing, man. And, you know, just, just working to um, get better and better and better. Um, just being a better person and, and uh, really just just seeking to elevate um, through through righteous living, you know what I'm saying? And, 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 and please don't take that as I'm living righteous and perfect at, at this place in my life. I'm just saying that is my goal. Righteousness is my goal. I'm in the process of leaving, you know, where I was in life and, and going towards, you know what I'm saying, more righteous living. And it, it a lot of things that I'm, I'm dealing with or, or you know, or, are speaking to that. You know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, even going back to some of those things, you know, like I say, some of those other brands, Porter Fam, like, that was a music company I started in 2001 back in North Carolina. But, I mean, when you think about it, like, that is how I've always lived my life, Porter Fam. Like, and, and Fam not necessarily having to be blood. Just people that I consider my family, people that I love, people that I meet. I love so many people and I consider them all my family once I meet you. If we cool, you know what I'm saying? We 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 we, we family. And um, so 
you know, I live for the family. I live to make sure that my family is taken care of, blood or not. And uh, from, uh, I mean, beyond music, like, this goes beyond music. It's not just music. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's like really a lifestyle. Um, men in black, like, I mean, whether I'm in clothes or in my skin, I, I am a man in, in black. You know, and I, that was about being kind of seen but not seen. Um, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's what Men in Black is really about. It's like we're we're seen but not seen, and and it, it doesn't even just mean on the producer tip that you know what I'm saying we some producers that's here but you don't see us. You know what I'm saying? It's like also in you know just how we want or how I like to move as far as. And dealing with people and blessing people like I'm here but I ain't here like it ain't even got to be known I'm not looking for shout outs and pats on the backs and but if I am a blessing to people or nothing like that it's like I like to be there and not be there you know what I'm saying so men in black but every every name the point I'm getting at is like having a need a meaning behind it you know I don't just name things things you know just to name stuff man like Everything has to have a purpose and a meaning with me. It's like it's got to be plain and spelled out, and um, but it's so it's, it's got to have some deeper meaning too, so that you know um, people can gain something from um, what we're doing. I'm sorry, y'all. It's raining. And I'm just trying to figure out how the hell I'm gonna get in this house, and I've been trying to think that through. At the same time, I'm making this video for y'all. But yeah, I just wanted to talk about DYIG, where it comes from, and why the name, what it means, and you know what I'm saying, just a little brief history of it, and um, you know, how it came about. But it, it, it did come from the idea of digging deeper, you know, and, and that's that's just, that's the lifestyle that I, I, I'm looking to um, continue to adapt into is, is just, digging deeper to do better, you know, finding ways, educating myself, gaining knowledge um, and wisdom and how to be a better person. So there are people that probably watch these videos that 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 know me as a good person or, or that maybe some people that are watching that's like, oh, nah, you know what I'm saying? Um, I believe though, I mean, majority of people who really know me would probably say good person you know what I'm saying and, and I, there is truth to that um, but there are some people who probably have seen some other sides of me that are not pleasing and um, you know that's there's there's truth in that as well so um, I'm okay with that because I know where I am right now I know who I am right now um, so I mean that's it, man. I'm just staying committed to who I am right now, you know, and building what I'm building right now. And, man, that's it, man. Discover your inner God. It's a process. It's a lifestyle. Um, but we can do this. We're doing it right now. Whether y'all know it or not, we're doing it. We start open, honest conversation. Start with me. I'm putting myself out here. I'm putting myself out here and be honest with y'all and let y'all see. And y'all see the blessings that come from that as I pull away from one way of living and move into another way of living. Um, and it ain't here to make nobody be no super holy religious beings and all of that stuff. I, I ain't even spoke on that. I ain't even spoke on religion. I haven't spoke on spirituality or none of that yet. I've only spoke on discovering your inner God. That's it. That's all I spoke on. I didn't, I didn't speak on no religious or none of that because I don't want to confuse the people. I don't want to divide the people. Right now, I'm looking to bring people together. One thing we all have in common, regardless of what religious background or any type of belief you have, is there some type of form or, 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 or thought of a God or a, a, a supreme being or a higher power or the most high, uh, Yahweh, Allah, God, Jesus. Muhammad, uh, uh, Buddha. I mean, everybody got their own things. I ain't here to, to, to start that whole conversation. Um, but what I am here to do is inspire you to be a better you. So whatever that looks like for you, I want to inspire you to be the best version of yourself. All right, I'm going to get out here and just take a shot in this rain. Peace and love. I love y'all.